Well, the trail is already the foragers raring to go, and we've even got the JCB on a low loader. Silence for the BJ season is about to start. Let's get the show on the road. Well then, folks, good morning. Welcome back to the Farmer Contractor series. We are in the first of many fields of grass that we're going to be tackling today. You'll see just through the trees there, we've got the two tracks and trailers just doing a bit of a shuffle around there making sure everything's hooked up because we t actually towed the two trailers over behind each other but we're good to go we've got a little bit of a shortage this morning on drivers uh, just to start the day off with so we're going to have one fortunately we just can't do it right there really so there are four ginormous pits there and judging by what's down here we're not gonna even get close to filling one i don't think at the moment there but we shall see we have got to start with this there's four fields that we're gonna knock down today the one we're in the one through the trees at the far side there and then two more over there it's kind of like a big horseshoe around the biogas plant there and we are pretty much ready to go we're all hooked up here and we're waiting for the first tractor to come on over as you can see looking down here this is the whole crop header there imagine it a bit like a combine header without the reel on the front there uh this will cut the grass down feed it through in the auger into the, the feeder house there into the chopper and then from there on it's exactly as normal uh this of course if you didn't see the last episode this is a rented uh, forager we're going to be renting this for about three months maybe a bit more if we need to uh, and we are on contract to this biogas plant here and we're going to try and get as much done as possible which could be a challenge uh because well there's it's on the tonnage really that they're looking for and it's it's not great but we'll we'll see how we get on uh and then happily like i say jcb is going to be in the pit and we'll have two trailers on just to get ourselves in there now it's when we get all the way around that far side it's gonna be a bit of a long drag back through the fields there but it is also we've got two large trailers and like i say not much there so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes and we will uh, react accordingly as we jump on in you'll see it's a lovely machine it really is we've had a bit of a play around with it already get make sure we're, we're comfortable and familiar with it all there and uh i think i like to say i am obviously it's uh, very similar to the combine in terms of the um the general driving position and the the controls used to everything that we can see there a few different buttons to press there and different things to monitor and look out for of course on the display but for the most part i'm very happy with it actually uh it's gonna be it's gonna be fun i'm looking forward to this actually we'll see how we get on there we've got a lot uh, a lot of ground to cover uh we'll get into the swing of it as we go of course like i say we're just missing the driver to start the day off with and uh you know we will see a little bit of a shortage of work uh, of drivers right now for me personally there but we will figure that one out uh so we're just gonna wait all being well here our uh, first tractor will be in place very soon all right then we are in place and in position so we'll fire up the forager there get the engine up to speed looks good trailer number one is in position and we are just about off to the races here there we go uh, i just want to dial down my cruise control get that set a little bit better and off we are the perfect stuff so Headland number one, pass number one here of oh, Hulkett Silage for us, really, which is a huge, huge change up to our operations and our proceedings. Uh, first thing we have to navigate, though, is this little corner. A little bit tricky for the car to there if we don't make it easy. Uh, so we'll just try and take a time around there. That's wonderful. And all right, once we get ourselves back on track, we're away. Off to the races we go. Uh, which is great so uh there we are perfect uh we are gonna be there's four fields here that we were in like i mentioned this one the one that we can just see through there and two around the other side 
and the, the when you get into it up here it doesn't look much better to be honest but we will knock these down uh and then we'll we'll see how it's all looking there this is a huge transformation huge step up for us here really in terms of uh operating models and uh something that we haven't done before by any stretch uh so it's a it's a learning experience and it's going to be a great experience for and hopefully an opportunity for some major expansion as well um obviously we had to rent in this chopper to begin with and pay for the silage size on the trailer so it hasn't come at a very uh low cost engagement but it's something that could yield some huge results so i wanted to do it anyway uh come on where are you there you go uh and i wanted to give it our best shot really so that's exactly what we've done um we've got the chopper for about three and a half months so we'll be looking to try and see what other work we can get and then uh, hopefully expand this out really and keep more acreage coming in the biogas plant themselves are looking to get as much as possible to continue to expand they've got four huge silage pits just down there you can see so if we can uh, get another one uh, another bit of land here as well there's quite a few acres around here that we need to knock down into this to begin with i think the total is about 450 uh, of just first cup so obviously we'll be depending upon how well everything grows which is a big if and, and uh, a big question mark really at the moment we'll see how much more we can, can get put into this uh and we'll uh, we'll hopefully get a little bit more in the second cup based on what i've seen so far my own grassland isn't really growing back too much at the moment which is a concern um but yeah we'll have to see see what the weather does it's been very very dry for the uh since we cut off the early spring which is great because the animals can get out into the ground less fun though because it means that they haven't got much to eat so we'll see uh nothing much is growing but anyway we're flying along here. You've got the 722 on the Red Rock. Those Red Rocks look really quite smart, in my opinion, with the uh, silage sides on them. Uh, and I'm liking what I'm seeing an awful lot. Uh, second time around, and I can only just see it halfway coming through the, the trailer there. So a lot left to go into this. Uh, but I don't think this is going to take us all too long. We're only at the one trailer at the moment. Driver shortages are smaller in there. And, you know, I don't think that's the bad thing right now because it's... Uh, Oh, I missed a bit there, I think. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of waiting time uh, because we're just going around the corner there. However, we'll see. Uh, got to get used to the width of the header on here. It's not very wide at all. There we go. Just trying to keep the auger ticking around there as well. So it's uh, so we are able to keep the tractor going. There you go. That's looking better. All right. But yeah, ultimately, I think it's looking very good indeed. So far as well, from a baling standpoint, everything else is finished. Everything else is done. First cut silage has been done there. So we're waiting, obviously, for second cut opportunities. Uh, we haven't got any coming up anytime soon there. We are still very early uh, in the season. So that will have to wait quite a little bit of time. Uh, and I'm hoping maybe we'll get some uh, opportunities to put some slurry down uh, onto some of that ground soon. And it'll be great if I can also look to see if we can get some uh, byproduct work with this BGA. So to give you an idea, when the, the grass is cut here, we stick it on into a um, pit. It ferments and then it turns into silage. It gets stuck into a big auger. Those augers then... Come on, oh, becoming the fence is struggling on the hills a little bit, actually. I think this one in particular might need to get some new tires stuck on here. We'll have to see. But the, the, the grass silage gets put into those big domes, you can see. And then from there, it is uh, it ferments, produces methane. And that methane goes into a big generator and is uh, uh, turned into electricity. So that's the whole purpose here. So it's interesting. Uh, but yeah, I am hopeful that we can get it. the byproduct from this uh, is then spread onto the land to re-fertilize it to continue. So if we can get a bit of that work, hey, that would be uh, ideal. Just trying to diversify the, the workload for the fleet. Uh, and get as much money in season round as we can yeah everything else at the moment at least this is all looking good we will just keep persevering and pushing on and see how it uh, continues uh two fields to go we've got a, a, a camera up in the skies as well a, a drone up there so we'll be able to see some of the aero shots of us going We're gonna try and get some on the clamp as well if we can uh and that'll be some interesting shots for everyone to see so yeah that's uh we just got a lot to crack on with so we'll just get going i think
Well, we have had a minor roadblock uh, in the form of this here gate. We're going to have to go, unfortunately, back down, drop off the header trailer uh, and bring it on over because this is just slightly too wide. I'm talking maybe six inches, um, but hey, not worth risking it. Uh, but yeah, this field did a little bit better, actually. Significantly better, uh, but still nothing amazing. Which just kind of shows you, I guess, more than anything how bad the first field was. However, uh, we'll go and get this uh, this unfolded, hooked off, uh, and then we'll drag the header trailer through, and then we'll, we'll we'll go again for another another run now, really. But yeah, we're making some good ground. Uh, let's just get that all the pipe put in there. I don't want to bend that round any trees either and then yeah we'll be good uh but yeah two trailers on the go now as you can see which is a fantastic makes it a lot easier especially in that field i found there uh yeah over we go and then we'll we'll get this uh all done and dusted nice and easy and quick there but otherwise yeah it's been it's been an adventure so far i'm, I'm pleased with how it's all coming together and hopefully it will look uh look pretty good as well uh, but otherwise we're just going to crack on and uh, we will bring you along for the ride as we continue there so I think what we'll do right now is get this unhooked get us through to the next field there and we shall roll on I hope you have enjoyed this though I have been Simulation for the Nation if you have any of you have to do so do give it a big thumbs up subscribe for more it really does help an awful lot there and we will see you all in the next one so until then do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you later